Hi everyone and welcome to the Florida Technology Advisory Committee's Tech Tips from the Field. I am Lori Gorig, SLP and Assistive Technology Specialist from Pinellas County Schools. I will be sharing a strategy for communicating with students who do not have a communication system in place or have difficulty physically accessing communication systems. Partner Assisted Scanning is an effective technique for students with complex bodies and limited use of their hands for pointing. It's also great for students with visual impairments. Probably most of you have done this before and you didn't even realize it. Let's say you are at McDonald's with your two-year-old. She cannot read the menu on the board way up there near the ceiling. She can't reach it to point to what she wants. She cannot yet just tell you what she wants. You use Partner Assisted Scanning. You are the communication partner helping her to communicate what she wants by scanning through the choices. You say, they have hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and chicken nuggets. Which one do you want? Hamburger? Cheeseburger? Your child shakes her head up and down after cheeseburger. You know she wants a cheeseburger. This strategy is useful for both communication and writing. For communication, if your student cannot effectively or independently talk, point to symbols or letters, activate a touch screen, see symbols or text, or eye gaze, partner assisted scanning might be the way to go. For writing, if your student cannot effectively or independently hold a pencil, type on a keyboard, activate an on-screen keyboard, dictate letters or words, or eye gaze, you might want to try partner assisted scanning. Students love it. This form of communication is interesting and engaging because it involves interacting with others. Students love interacting with others, especially adults in their environment. Partner assisted scanning is also an easier way for some students to communicate their ideas. It reduces the physical demands of communicating, especially for those students who struggle with motor issues. And it allows students to focus on the act of communicating, interacting with others, instead of trying to move their arm to point to a symbol or push a button. Let's take a look at how it is done. The communication partner, oftentimes an adult, presents the choices, either pointing to the visual choices or just naming them or both. Then the adult goes through the choices again slowly, pausing after each one. This gives the student the chance to respond. The student responds using the method your team has determined is the easiest for him to do. Once the communication partner gets to the choice the student wants, he can blink an eye, raise a finger, or hit a voice output button that says, that's the one I want. Work together to figure out how your student can easily respond. Just remember, give your students enough time to listen and respond. It's often longer than you think. They need to process your words, think about them, and get their brain ready to respond. Partner assisted scanning is not the time to carry on a conversation with your students. Don't encourage or advise them. I know we all want to cheer them on, but Really, it's distracting. And when you say things like, I know you can do it, come on, what do you think? You are stopping your students' processing and will need to start over again, scanning through the choices. On behalf of the Florida Technology Advisory Committee and Pinellas County Schools, I want to thank you for joining us today.